Sometimes you have an image that you need to resize or you want to crop the extra white space off and around it or maybe a website needs an image to be a certain size. You can do that in Procreate by going to the tools where the wrench is in the top left, choosing Crop and Resize under Canvas. Now from here, you can crop an image by dragging the corners or the sides in and cropping it to where you need it to be. When you have it the way you like it, you hit done and your image will be cropped to the way you set it. Now maybe you need to change the actual dimensions of the canvas. To do that, you go back into crop and resize, you hit settings, and in settings, you can resize it by pixel or by inches, centimeters and millimeters. And you can change it from pixels to the other measurements by tapping one of those measurements under settings. So I can go to inches if I wanted to. And maybe I want this to be 10 inches wide. And I want it to be um, six inches high. So as you can see, now I have that dimension right here and I can move it around to that dimension. If I want the dimension to stay in proportion, I'm gonna go back to reset. I hit that little link together and now if I hit 10, you can see on the right, the height of this image changed automatically to that. And then I have that dimension for cropping. I'm gonna reset that again. Go back to settings. Now if I hit resample canvas and do the same thing, 10 by 5.99 and hit done. Now the entire canvas will resize to that dimension. If I hit done, now the canvas is that size. Now there's two more things to be aware of when you resize the canvas. I'm gonna go back into crop and resize, go to settings, now I can change my DPI or dots per inch. I can also change the, the dimensions as I said before, but when you change the dimensions, something to keep in mind is if I do maybe 12 by 12 inches, you can see it dropped down real quick, but it said 37 layers available. If I go back to five by five inches, drops down 234 layers available. So the size of your project will affect the amount of layers available. And if you use layers a lot, you want to pay attention to that. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate any subscribers, likes, comments, ring that bell, and I'll see you next time.